Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Zach, but you guys can call me Hazardous. Thank you guys so much for tuning back into my channel, and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 video here on the channel today. We're going to be doing something special here. This is going to be the start of a new series, so let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see more episodes of this series, or drop a like, or both. That would be greatly appreciated. But basically, to get on with this video, I was scrolling through my subscriptions, and I saw someone who uploaded an advanced warfare weapon in Black Ops 3 video, and I was like, wow, that's really interesting. I've seen Itan Kid do it. I think I've seen Hollow Point do it. Incredible lag has done it they've created advanced warfare weapons in call of duty black ops 3 but i want to take that a step further and improve upon that it got me thinking and i want to do a call of duty black ops 3 weapon factory so there's the gunsmith mode in black ops 3 where you can create weapon variants and everything and use them in multiplayer and campaign so we're going to take a gun from black ops 3 either that be an assault rifle smg lmg sniper etc we're going to recreate a new version of it with new stats and camos and attribute it to weapons from older call of duties and we're just going to try and replicate the stats from the older weapons in Black Ops 3 with the Gun Factory or Gunsmith mode. So this is the pilot episode. Like I said, if you guys enjoy this series idea, please drop a like or comment down below and a like and comment would also be greatly appreciated. That'd be fantastic. To kick off this series, we're going to recreate the Obsidian Steed first, which if you guys don't know, it is the best gun in Advanced Warfare. It was super overpowered. So getting into the stats, we're going to break it down section by section here. We got the damage. Now the Obsidian Steed in Advanced Warfare had 11 damage and the KM4 44 has nine damage so to counteract that we are going to put on high caliber you can also use fmj but i prefer high caliber because the obsidian steed had a longer barrel in advanced warfare and to kind of replicate the shape we're going to use high caliber because the gun looks more realistic with the high caliber attachment rather than fmj because the barrel becomes shorter i don't know it's just something to do with the fmj attachment in black ops 3 it just messes with it you can use either though i just prefer high caliber moving down into the range the obsidian steed has 10 range and the kn44 has eight so to to get that up to the obsidian steed standards from advanced warfare we're gonna pop out a long barrel to give that its 10 range now moving down to the fire rate the steed has a 13 fire rate and the kn44 has 15 there's nothing we could do about that we're just gonna have to deal with the weapon having a little bit of a faster fire rate but i don't think that is bad at all in fact that's better having it having a faster fire rate because the weapon will perform better i think and then lastly we have the accuracy the steed had quite a low accuracy with seven accuracy so we on the kn44 want to improve upon that but the kn44 only has five accuracy so we got to bump that up and to counteract that we are going to be using the grip So all the attachments you want to use to create the obsidian steed out of the KN44 in black ops 3 is the grip long barrel and high caliber Also to give it the obsidian steed type of shape and style and just look and feel and personality We want to use the diamond camo You can also use the chameleon camo if you want But I think it looks better with the diamond camo it just looks sick the gameplay you're seeing in the background is with the KN44 obsidian steed. I hope you guys enjoyed let me know down in the comments below what weapon from an older color duty you would like to see in the next episode or i can create new weapons of my own thank you guys so much for watching please drop a like and comment down below Have a fantastic day and i'll see you all in the next video adios amigos